The Thunder Bay Art Gallery is welcoming the return of the Northern Ontario Juried Exhibition. It's a compelling section of artwork titled Now Now, featuring 72 pieces by 60 artists in a variety of genres. My, Riley McManus has the story. Now Now exhibit showcases artworks created over the last three years by living artists across Northern Ontario. Each artist went through a process to apply, where their art was then selected by a jury. Erin Legro is a self-taught wildlife artist who recently moved back to Thunder Bay, as his previous work as an ordained minister had him out of the city for 15 years. Legro says it was during the pandemic that he got back in touch with his art and explains how he got started. About uh, 20 years ago, I branched out into doing wildlife because you can't sell someone's face to someone else. Uh, so I um, was encouraged to try wildlife and that's where I began just with black and white, charcoal and pencil and then about 10 years ago uh, taught myself how to do colour. The exhibit spans a wide variety of genres including painting, sculptures, beadwork, birch bark, textile arts and much more. This is the first time many of these artists have been able to showcase their work to the broader public due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Denise Smith is a local ceramic artist who has been creating pieces since she can remember. She explains the inspiration behind her piece as it directly reflects her experience as a new mother during the height of the pandemic. I created an illustration of embodying the COVID-19 uh, virus as like a monster, as something tangible versus uh, this, this fear that we all had, this anxiety that was floating around us because COVID was everywhere. Uh, so giving myself also this sort of powerful role to face you know, the virus and face uh, the pandemic. Candace Twance calls herself a mixed media abstract artist and painter who has always been inspired to create. Twance is currently living in Thunder Bay, but her home community is Pick Mobert, where her talents truly started. I feel like I'm working with a lot of tactile materials that are kind of things I saw my own grandmother work with uh, growing up, creating artisanal uh, type of works with the fur and the beads. An honor to be selected and especially a show like this um, representing the region. I feel like everybody's making important work Thunder Bay can kind of be an incubator for a lot of great art and getting everyone together, even with the opening tonight, a chance to visit. And especially, um, I know we're moving away from some of the pandemic protocols and, and it's nice to be able to come together. The dozens of artworks in the Now Now exhibit can be seen until March 19th here at the Thunder Bay Art Gallery. Riley McManus, TBT News.